Max. In this video, we are going to see about how to calculate year on year cal comparison in DAX. As you guessed, we are going to use same period last year function in DAX. Let's explore this function using our business scenario. And for this Naga Garments business, the business user wants to see how is my current year sales performing over last year that is compared over last year let's try to find this answer using this tax function before seeing it in power bi just hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in power bi or dax we are in power bi now let's try to ex create uh, the last year sales before that uh, let's try to explore uh, the current sales okay how uh, the current year sales or how the sales is happened now you can see here uh, you have 2016 17 and 18 right so let me increase the size slightly okay so we want to see how my current year sales performed the last year so if we have it in same bar then it will be very easy to understand not only this even if we want to compare with quarter and month we can do it let us try to create a measure for it for that go to new measure let's try to write it as sales previous period let's keep it like that okay and write calculate all it starts with calculate what you want to calculate I want sum of sales amount let me zoom little bit okay I th think this is enough sum of sales amount right so sum of sales amount Let's close this one. This is your first argument to your calculate. Let's put it comma. Then alt enter. Okay. Don't just press enter. You need to do alt enter. Then what you want to do? Now we want a previous period. Same period last year, right? The same period. When when you are the same period indicates the period can be anything. This period can be replaced by year. It can be a quarter it can be a month so if you are seeing at the month level January 2018 then what is my sales on January 2017 that is for that month if you are seeing at the year level say for example the overall total for 2018 is some 1 million what is my total on 2017 so you can compare the period replace with any of the uh, month quarter or year that is what it's generally generically said as period let us try to have this one same period last year just what you need to mention is like you see here just you need to specify the date in our case it is dim date dot date then choose this dot column that is uh, this this date field internally creates a table that's why you're mentioning a column here okay then close now we have calculated sum of sales for the same period last year okay my measure is sales previous period let's choose enter okay hit enter at the end we are done so let us try to get this measure in this chart okay now you see here and uh, let me have the data and increase it slightly okay now you see uh, this is 2016's sales okay you see the legend so let me increase that one also so that it will be easy to understand okay now you see this is the uh, sales for uh, 2016 okay there is no previous year data this is the business started on 2016 so there is no previous year data now if you see on 2017 this is the 2017 data 
whereas this one is nothing but your 2016's data. So you, you, you see the comparison here immediately. Uh, as soon as he sees here, what he can analyze is like his uh, previous year sales is less. So usually we need to see like this. Maybe I will just move it here. So now his uh, current year sales previous year is this and sales current year is this. So there is an increase in sales. Whereas here his uh, previous period sales is uh, around 2 million. Whereas here it is 1.7 million. That is immediate decrease. So there is something he missed out in 2018. That is what his sales is going down. Immediately you can see. So this is at the year level. This same period last year is so powerful, you can drill down to another level, say for example in the quarter level, in quarter level also you can compare. So let me make it a little easier, okay, let me put my filter here for 2018. make it as list now I don't want this I want hierarchy okay I'm filtering 2018 here now you can see here um, this is previous year quarter okay that is not uh, current year quarter this is previous year quarter on 2017 what is my uh, data Okay, that is what. So you, you, the, you are right single measure that will act for different periods, whether it can be a year, it can be a quarter. So if I choose both, then you will understand. So this 2018 quarter two sales is uh, previous year sales is, uh, um, what is that? So previous year sales is 50090. So you can see 2017 quarter two current data that is 50090. 50090. So, this is your previous period for 2018 quarter, that is your 2017 quarter actual data 50090. So, this single measure is so powerful so that you can analyze with uh, different granularity. Now, I just choose 2017, it will be easier to understand. So, uh, by analyzing like this, some period, some month, you can see your uh, pre, uh, pre year year is performed well uh, in case of here. So, this is your previous period performed well. So, current year, this month, the current year performed well. So, based on this, you can do some forecasting or analyze some months are performing well compared to previous year. I hope uh, you guys uh, like this video. I'm going to give you some bonus tip here. Like I choose um, this particular year, I mean from the same date column that I've used. What happens if I use uh, something else, some other column? Instead of this filter, if I use a year filter here, when I choose it here, you see the measure is not working. When I click on 2017-18. Okay, this is because this table is created internally and you need to use some filters uh, from this table so that your ex existing measure also works the same period last year. And a lot of uh, mistake happen due to this. Instead of using this filter, they use some other columns in this table. So that is a issue happen here. That is what I want to highlight. Just I will use, uh, replace this one with... Uh, hierarchy now you see 2017 you get the actual results so these are some mistakes people used to make hope you guys like this video share and subscribe to the channel comment below for queries do remember that data is your asset